Thor. Chris Hemsworth. Mick Fury. Sam Jackson. Black Widow. Useless. Hawkeye. Jeremy Renner. Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. Loki. Tom Hiddleston. Hulk. Mark Ruffalo. Captain America. Chris Evans. We got a lot to talk about. Avengers. I thought you were throwing out a hug out to, to Robert Downey Jr., your best <laughs> friend. That's what I thought you were attracted to. And we're probably not the only ones doing this review out there. I'm sure there's lots of reviewers. Probably a thousand and one. That's it. What did you think about this one? I thought it. I liked it. I was surprised. I'm going into it like this young gentleman beside me squigs on Tic Tac, by the way. Okay. Black Widow. You know, we thought because we'd heard that she'd done some whining and she wanted more pieces, pieces. some more pieces and stuff. I think it was kind of obvious watching it because yeah. to me it was really annoying her pieces. But at the same time, I think they wanted they want to do some spinoff for the human characters, which I don't care about. Like as far as that's to do it, but that's I'm like true. to get introduce humans to a point in this whole story because otherwise you just get superheroes and you don't get like a, a, a kind of like a realistic uh, comparison to the humans, right? I don't know if she could have written, you know, it's the writers too, but, uh, but yeah, the stuff between Hawkeye and her, right? Like, yeah. It's like it almost, they're trying to set up the next, and I'm not trying to say or spoil an ending for anybody, but it feels when you're watching the movie that they're really forcing a story development between her and Hawkeye. Marvel, it's like a Marvel origins. They like, talk about her past and, and how really Hawkeye ridiculous. saved her. And, it is really ridiculous. So they go on a bit for that. It does slow the movie down considerably because they do, yeah. it's like this... Long. They really could have like, yeah, you know, it's like really drawn that down to a two minute piece. The movie still wasn't, wasn't as long as I thought it would be. No, it, it actually, like, the last, what, last hour of it is just pure non-stop action. So you're really just, you're like, on for a ride for that last hour. So between Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. or Iron Man and uh, Captain America, I think there was definitely some building of character, right? I, mean, I think each one of them kind of developed to some small portion within this movie, which I feel that they're going to take home to their next sequel and then build Well, yeah, else. it's like, you know, it's like one character challenged another, you know, Captain America challenges Robert Downey Jr.'s character Iron Man, and then Iron Man is challenging the Hulk. Alright, we'll line it up with Robert Downey Jr. first, my buddy. What do you think? Wrong. Uh, from what I've heard from other people, is they didn't really like him. They thought he was too arrogant and stuff. But you're like, no, I, that's the character. No, and he definitely, find. he definitely takes that arrogance as far as his character goes, and he really works that in there. But at the same time, he's able to, by the end of the movie, you know, become less arrogant, like I said before, right? You're thinking about other characters. He, yeah, he develops, and that, that's true. You see it throughout the movie. But I think his character also added a lot of that comedy that was in this movie. Like, I mean, there's other pieces from other people that threw in there too. Even Thor had a one-liner, but I think really he was the the comedy or the off action that happened in this movie. Well, next we should talk about Thor. Let's go on Thor. And I want to I want to talk. I like I like Thor's character development too because you know I think you consistently see him grow in each movie he's in. And what I liked about this movie is right at one point Loki's like you know we could die too, right? He's fighting his brother in this. this yeah. Is, and that's I think a real strong piece of the story of this movie is it's brother on brother. And we've seen the movie Thor, good. so we, we know what came of that. Yeah. Another thing, before we go any further, make sure you watch at least Thor and to get the understanding of what's going on in here. Uh, Loki next? Uh, Tom Hiddleston? Hiddleston? Loki, Loki. kind of, I wait, think... Wait, wait, wait. I gotta say this right. Hiddleston? Hiddleston. Hiddleston. Hiddle. Look at that. Got it right. Well, I think... I mean, yeah, he's supposed to play, like, a partially... You know, he, he plays this person like he's superior to everyone, right? Up his Megalomaniac. Brother. And that's the word of the day. M-E-G-A. Low, L-O, M-A-N-I-A-C. I think. It's all intelligence because it was too long. <laughs> Look at that megalomaniac. I know, I don't know. It's, yeah, like, gonna it's almost like there's character it. development here. So I think he did a good job, right? He's supposed to be playing this crazy, self-absorbed, you know, different than Rob Downey Jr.'s character. You know, but at times, he sees that he's doing something evil and then you don't really... Or you can kind of tell in his character that he doesn't want to go through with what, what's already been set in motion in the movie. But, you know, he is a megalomaniac, so he goes through with it anyway. Captain America, what did you think of him? Well, Chris Evans. And so I don't think his character's changed. Like, I mean, I think from Captain America, you get a good, 
idea of what his character is, right? He was that small mm. guy, and even though you know he he's a bit bitter in the beginning, at least by the end, right? He's 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 getting out of that, right? There's there's a new mission, there's something new, you know. But he, at the same time, he feels the world hasn't changed, and that's why he's and still relevant to it. That's a really nice piece too. Like you can see through him how time really hasn't changed much from back in the the World War Two era to to now. He even makes comparisons to like, well, it's just it's like Nazism or whatever, and then. Yeah. He kind of makes that comparison in this movie to Loki and to what he's doing. Yeah, he's like, there, but he's not the same presence as he was in Captain America. So Jeremy Renner. Slash Nighthawk. Yes. What would you think? You know, there really wasn't any character development. This was, for this, for 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 him, he, you know, it wasn't about I don't think his character that, right? really had an option either. It's no. Like, well, what was presented to him as part of the entire, the bigger picture of things that happened in this movie, I don't think he really is given an option to develop like everyone else was. I feel... But they're setting it up for a different movie, right? And so then they don't want to get too much into it anyway. Black Widow. Black Widow, Sarah hey, Johansson. Useless. And there wasn't really anything new you learned about her, right? You just, she's like a Well, you can learn her powers. She's just skillful at dialogue. I suppose you could say she's, she's as far as like the psychology point, she can figure people out that way, right? So before I went into this movie, while I was in this movie, and after this movie has happened, did not change to me. I still really distaste for having her in there. I don't think she's the greatest actress, not gonna lie. As part of the story, as part of the movie, I felt she was a really useless piece to this entire puzzle. She was given a lot more lines, a lot more dialogue, a lot more character than Nick Fury, who it's his Avengers. Sam Jackson, what'd you think? I thought he, he did a good role. I mean, I think he definitely develops as far as, I mean, his, his acting is good, um, and he does I mean, have to... You can't say no to each other. Well, he's, he's, a good, he's a good actor anyways. All right, last but not least, Mark Ruffalo. As the Hulk, that's changing it up from the actual stories and the movies that happened in the past. What do you think? Um, I think it's kind of hard when you've come and you're rehashing it for a third time, right? Or a fourth time, right? Because yeah. Lou Ferrigno as the original, original Hulk. Way, way back, yeah. So, I mean, totally hashing back. it up as the fourth guy coming in. The other guys had their own movie. They've developed from that movie. They understand their character better. They move in, right? They just they continue. He has to start all over from fresh. I think yeah, for him coming in and doing what he did, I thought he did a really good. I think he did a really good job. I just think for him, right? It was all about, as far as his acting, it was all about holding his composure and and being straight, right? Yeah, and you can see that within him, and like I like that part of him because that I think he actually portrays a really good Hulk in my opinion, because he kind of looks the part. He looks like the strange old scientist that's really yeah definitely down on his luck. He, he did have uh, like how his ha hair was gray and stuff. Yeah, I he, that was he had that piece of like you know stress to his like his back composure kind of thing. Right, in general, I thought was kind of off compared to the Marvel universe. Being the Hulk, you would think he would freak out and attack anything, but in this movie, there are pieces where he kind of goes outside his character and does things that wouldn't genuinely be done by the Hulk. But at the same time. You know, you have to admit that you don't know as much about him either. In the end, he falls in love with some space woman, and then he gets even worse. So, I don't want to dig into it really far in, because I'm not the biggest Marvel nerd, so I'm going to look like an idiot going on all in. But I will say that I thought that he was going to do a lot more damage to just everything and anybody. Yeah. So now that we got all the actors out of the way, story. Um, I thought the story was, was decent for what it was, right? Like, um... I mean, you, you, we knew Loki was going to be the bad guy in this movie. You know mm -hmm. that, right? And they developed that in these different movie clips, the different... The endings. The endings, the credits, yeah, yeah, after the credits, the comp. Yeah, hint, hint, there's still something after this one, too, just so everyone... There's, knows. like, a mid-credits and an end-credits thing. Yes, that's, so, that's true. So stick around. So st yeah, stay for the whole thing, it's because fun. there is, yeah, it pieces together a, a much giant picture. Um, so with that said, yeah, no, the story was good. It's about... Uh, Loki, while well, he obviously wants power, he wants people to worship him, and being an, an Asgardian, or the frost giant, I guess, <laughs> an Asgardian, yeah. because he grew up that way, you know, he's, he feels that he should be the king, right? I mean, he still feels he was the king. For that short period of time during the And he still Thor feels movie. he's that king, right? And so then he, that's what he wants to do. He wants his own world to rule, and so he teams mm -hmm. up with these weird alien things, which are like kind of know, half machine, half creature, slash something or other. I don't think so. Kind of like a human but sometimes they're animal like uh, they're like a, a creature or some <laughs> cyborg hybrid this is hybrid. us trying to tell you what that is we don't really know yeah so action 
What do you think of the action in this movie? Because that's what this movie's for. Summer blockbuster kickoff action. I thought the action was great as far as this, right? You had action, action, action. You got this comedy piece, right? Action, 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 comedy piece. Like this one, didn't it, like the characters developed. The story didn't change too much. But it was action, 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 Scarlett Johansson. Action, 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 Scarlett Johansson. So on the action piece, I think we do have to talk about the fact that all these different type of superheroes, um, or whatever, anti-heroes and stuff, they all kind of bring to the table their own characters, their own thing. What I'm going to say about this action, which I like compared to like a movie like Transformers, which doesn't compare at all, is the fact that, you know, like almost all the superheroes, except the Hulk, because he cannot even be scratched, get like stabbed or... That's, this is true. Beat yeah, up. It's not but... Transformers 3. The white dresses do get dirty. Like Thor, for instance, can throw a hammer, throw some lightning out there, and explode things. Whereas Captain America really is just human, but can punch and kick, and it kind of has stamina. You get like the Hulk putting against these bigger, massive creatures. Whereas Captain America is fighting off things that are to more his caliber, to more his style. Same Iron Man doing his thing. So, what are you going to give this one? You know, I'm still going to give it a four. I do, I do like it. I thought just the comedy built in, what brought it down was, you know, those really slow parts with Hawkeye and yeah, that, that Black definitely Widow. drew it way down. I thought I was going to be giving this one like a one going in. And there, I think everyone out there that's following us understands that too, because I was really hating on this before we went into it, hating the summer season. So much I wanted to punch him in the face. Surprising like, ending to all of this battering that we've been doing and I've been saying. 3.5 out of 5 Charmels. Charme. Charme. I don't know. <laughs> you'll know if you've watched the movie. And so, if you have it, we'll watch the movie and you'll know. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. Robert Downey Jr. does. He's my buddy. I'll do the next review. He's not your buddy.